morning to all. I am Dr. V. Himavanshwara, Assistant Professor of Physics, Department of Freshman Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. Welcome to the lecture series Atomic and Molecular uh, Spectroscopy. Today we are going to discuss quantum numbers associated with the vector atom model. In earlier lecture, we already discussed a vector model that is space quantization and uh, spin uh, quantization. So, in general, the vector atom model, uh, is, uh, the central features of vector atom model are space quantization and electron spin. So, based on these two central features, there are uh, important quantum numbers. Now, we are going to discuss those quantum numbers which are already uh, evaluated in the earlier lecture. So, uh, here we are listing out the all those quantum numbers at one place. So, uh, we are discussing quantum numbers that are assigned to each of the component parts. So, the numerical value of the quantum number may be thought of as the length of the vector, length of the vector. So, the addition of the components are carried out as per the rules of vector analysis. So, as we are taking vectors uh, of uh, components, so maybe it requires to add up of all those vectors based on the vector analysis. So, a straight line whose direction is parallel to the axis of rotation and whose length is proportional to the magnitude of the momentum represents angular momentum. As we seen in the, in the earlier lecture, if there is an orbit in which electron is revolving, so here uh, angular momentum vector will be perpendicular to the plane of orbit. So this is indicated as PL. Whenever electron is spinning in this uh, while rotating, uh, around this orbit, the spinning of electron can be denoted by the uh, spin uh, spin momentum, spin angular momentum. So that is indicated by PS. So whenever we need to add up total angle, you know, that means we need to whenever we need to find out the total angular momentum, we may need to add uh, these two. Uh, angular moments. So, the total angular momentum Pz can be given as angular orbital angular momentum plus spin angular momentum Pl plus Ps. So, for that uh, as uh, Pl and Ps are as vectors, uh, so we need a, a vector addition analysis for the finding of total angular momentum. So, all these things come into the picture whenever there is an addition of uh, my applied magnetic field, we, uh, uh, which we are using as reference direction. So, uh, here we must discuss about the quantum numbers with an electron in a given atom in the absence of reference field, otherwise the reference field uh, such as magnetic field must be zero or, uh, or else it must tend uh, to g zero. So, let us see the first one principal quantum number. It is indicated by n. An electron is characterized by a uh, principal quantum number n which describes the quantization of the electron energy. So, if you want to say energy of electron revolving around the nucleus, it is quantized in terms of principal quantum number. So, it can take uh, uh, only integral values. So, 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, for example, if the, uh, uh, if the, if the value of principal quantum number n is 4 for any particular atom, that means there could be 4 uh, orbitals, orbits for the uh, nucleus. So, that uh, electrons are uh, arranged uh, in the four orbits. Second one is orbital quantum number and it is indicated by L. So, it is particularly to indicate the shape of the orbit. 
and it is characterized by L. So it can take values from 0 to n minus 1. So if the value of n is 4, L can take values 1 to 3. So in vector atom model, the orbital angular momentum of the electron is given by, as we discussed in the earlier lecture, PL, orbital angular momentum, uh, PL is equal to LH by 2 pi. So as, as in H by 2 pi can be denoted as H cross, we can write LH cross. So orbital angular momentum, PL is equal to LH cross. But according to uh, new quantum mechanical model, the orbital angular momentum PL is taken as square root of L into L plus 1 into H cross. This H cross must be out, outside of the square root, not inside of the square root. So here L is the orbital quantum number, orbital, uh, orbital quantum number. So uh, the orbital quantum, um, orbital angular momentum can be written in terms of orbital quantum number. So that means the square root of L into L plus 1 H cross. And again, in general, uh, as uh, as our experience, we can say orbital quantum number for orbital quantum numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the designated states of the electron are indicated S, P, D, F, G, H, etc. So for uh, orbital quantum number 0, the designated state is S and for 1, P the state of the electron is p and for orbital quantum number 2. So the values of L can be from 0 to infinity and the states are indicated like this. Generally uh, it may go up to 7 maximum. So H uh, we can go S, P, D, F, G, H, I like that. And uh, the next one, third one, spin quantum number. So it is indicated by S, yes, the spin quantum number has a magnitude 1 by 2 always. The value of S, the spin quantum number S is 1 by 2 always. In the vector atom model, the electron spin angular momentum PS, PS as like a orbital angular momentum PS also uh, given by S H by 2 pi, not S by 2 pi, S H by 2 pi. So, as h by 2 pi can be written as h, h cross, we can write ps as sh cross. But later, according to quantum mechanical model, the spin quantum, uh, spin angular momentum ps can be taken in terms of uh, spin quantum number s as like this, square root of s into s plus 1 h cross. So, this is the spin angular momentum in terms of spin quantum number s. So under s, uh, it is important to remember the value of s is always 1 by 2. Fourth one, total angular quantum number j. So whenever we have the orbital quantum number uh, l and spin quantum number s, uh, we, uh, in order to find out the total quantum number, total angular quantum number, uh, we need to add up these two quantum numbers, orbital angular uh, uh, quantum number and spin quantum number. So, <coughs> J can be taken as L plus S and the value of J is evident, uh, event, evidently half integer by because S is half always. If there is a present, uh, electron present in the orbit, so, for a single electron, S is equal to 1 by 2 always, so that we may get uh, off integer values. So, it is usually expressed as the value of J as uh, equal to L plus or minus S. The plus sign when S is in uh, parallel to L, minus sign is taken when the uh, S is anti-parallel to L. 
In vector atom model, the total angular momentum of the electron P z can be taken as so P z value, the total angular momentum P z can be taken as J H by 2 pi. So that is equal to J H cross. So later, according to quantum models, quantum mechanical models, the total angular uh, momentum P z can be taken as square of square root of j into j plus 1 h cross. So when the atom is placed in the uh, in a reference magnetic field, then more quantum numbers are associated along with the previously discussed quantum numbers such as principal quantum number, orbital angular momentum quantum number, spin quantum number. So along with this, uh, there are three more quantum numbers. Uh, first one, orbital magnetic quantum number. So it is indicated by M uh, ML. ML. So ML is the numeric value of the projection of the orbital vector L in the reference field direction. So it is an integer and takes a total of two L plus one values. So it depends on the L value. So as L is equal to three, uh, if L is equal to three, then uh, the total ML values can be two L plus one values. There could be two L plus one values. That means two into for L, L is equal to three, two into three plus one, that means uh, seven, seven ML values. Uh, those L, uh, ML values are also from minus three to plus three. That means ML values could be minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. So including zero, the ML values are from minus L to plus L, minus L to plus L including zero. So there could be two L plus one values. So according to space quantization, the projection of L in the field direction must itself be quantized. Hence L can orient only at such a discrete angles that its projection ML may also be an integer. So according to space quantization, L must be quantized it's itself. That means it must be integer values and again ML values also must be integer according to space quantization. Or, uh, next one, uh, for example, if the vector L is inclined to the field direction at an angle theta, the projection is ML equal to L cos theta. So now since ML has to be an integer and cos theta uh, ranges from minus one to one, and the maximum value of cos theta is 1. So the permitted values of ML are from minus L to L, including 0. That's why uh, ML values should always from minus L to L, including 0, and all these values are integer values. The total number of permitted orientations of the L vector related to the field direction is also 2L plus 1 values. That's why if L equal to 1, the permitted orientations of L are 3. Those 3 are uh, plus 1, 0, minus 1. If L equal to uh, 2, L equal to 2, ML values must be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. There could be 5 ML values. That means 5 orientations of the orbit, uh, orbit for electron. So for L equal to two, there could be five orientations for the uh, orbit for any electron. So like this. So if it is the nucleus, if the electron is revolving in this orbit, there could be five orientations. Maybe this is one, two, three, four, five. Like this, there could be five orientations for the orbit of electron.
Sixth one, spin magnetic quantum number ms. So ms is the numerical value of the projection of spin vector s on the reference field direction. By analogy with the orbital angular momentum, so similar to the ang orbital angular momentum, spin angular momentum also can be taken uh, 2s plus 1 values. So as like uh, orbital angular momentum is taking 2l plus 1 values for orbital angular momentum, uh, s also, spin vector s also can take from minus s to s at unit intro intervals. So there are the value 0 is included and ms can take only 2 values. So here 0 is excluded. So for s as s is having only 1 uh, one by 2 value, so we have to take ms values from plus of 2 minus of excluding 0. So there could be only 2 values for ms, uh, spin quantum numbers, spin magnetic quantum number. And then total magnetic quantum number mj. So it is uh, uh, regarding the magnetic field uh, quantum number. So mj is the numerical value of the projection of the total angular momentum vector regarding the spin. So j on the reference field direction. In case of a single electron, j can have only half integral value uh, that means L plus or minus half. So the total angular uh, spin angular momentum uh, j can take values L plus or minus half. So that means uh, the permitted orientations of the j with respect to the field direction are 2j plus 1 values. And j can have values 2j plus 1 total values. So the values are starting from minus j to plus j including 0, mm, excluding 0. So these are the references, uh, reference books for uh, theory of atomic and molecular spectroscope. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.